What? What? I heard that. Did you I hear that? You. No, it was not me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh you. my Whoa. god. Whoa. What if that's the guy? My and arm and like no my way. hand. Whoa. Whoa. No what was that? The owner of this antique toy store has been experiencing strange paranormal activity and is hoping that we can find out what is haunting his warehouse. Some of the items that he has collected over the years comes from burnt down homes, people who have passed away, the ashes of deceased pets, cursed items, and more. Previously, this warehouse was home to illegal activities and led to a raid and a shootout. It is unclear how many people died. Prior to us investigating, he chose not to give us many details as to who or what he believes is haunting him. Jasmine and Victor didn't share any of this information with me, so I am coming to this location knowing absolutely nothing about it or the hauntings here. Let's put my psychic gifts to the test. Extremely haunted warehouse. I'm here with Barrier Beyond. Hey guys, what's up? We we need to discuss <laughs> what this place is. Let's go back here. <laughs> it's a little tight. <laughs> Godzilla! Run! It's Godzilla! Yeah, this guy has a lot of really cool stuff and collects a lot of like 80s, 90s nostalgia. So I do the same thing. I mean, not as much as him, but I saw him on like Instagram or something. I was like, dude, we got to come check out his stuff, see what he has. Really, really awesome guy. And uh, he recently told us that a lot of weird things are to happen. Also, you know, since he collects toys from around the world, he thinks a lot of them have attachments. There's definitely a lot of energy around. I keep thinking I see things. Like I thought you were standing right here. Drew is also ah. here behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All the film work. Yes. There's like so many toys in here. It's crazy. Looks like it's from the 70s. These are cool. They got gremlins in here. Is this a sign? I'm manifesting that I work with them one day on a movie. Is this a sign? Oh, the ghosts are gonna get mad that you're farting. It's like so aggressive. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? It's a barking spider. No. I don't know what was that, guys. I don't know I'm what scared. was that. Yeah, have you not seen that video? No. It's like the little girls in the oh, closet. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I don't know what was that, guys, and I didn't do that. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. Annabelle's gonna come haunt you. It's me when I wake up in the morning. Yo, you can get a little Snoop Dogg to just walk around with. <laughs> Do you have one of those? Oh, oh my one. god! <laughs> Drew! No, that was just rude. That was just like... <laughs> I like how he came all the way over here just to, to do here, that. Just that to was do on that. purpose. It doesn't smell. No, it doesn't. <laughs> They're just loud and obnoxious. I had a donut. I want to see what this goes off to. Let's see if there's any objects. Let's see. I like how he's an Ikea hat. <laughs> That's pretty iconic of him, honestly. Whoa. What? It's... I'm confused. What's making this go off? Oh, it stopped now. Oh, now it's going a little bit. Hello. Is there something over here? Now it stopped. <gasps> We're already hearing so many noises. I do feel something with this doll with the red hair. Right when I looked at her, yeah. I don't know what it is, but... We can ask them. Um screws when he comes back. I just yeah. got the name Polly. Polly? Polly? Yeah. Polly. Yeah, he didn't want to give us any names. He didn't he didn't tell us any names of okay. anything. So when he comes Whoa. Whoa. Polly? Is it 
giant money doll up there. I just see his butt. <laughs> Polly, is that you? If it is, can you make a sound? Maybe it's someone else. Maybe she's stuck behind the glass. I don't know. You know how they say that glass does, yeah. like keeps them there? Yeah. I don't know. Unless they open this, but it doesn't seem like they open it very often. What? What was that? It was like a screech. Like That was a giggle. Dude, that creeped me out. That gave me chills really bad. That came from behind you, Drew. That sounded like a little girl giggling to me. Whoa. Wait. Did I just see something poke around the corner? No. I saw like a little black thing come around the corner. You always see them like that. It's weird. Drew it's... always sees things poke around corners. I didn't see it through. I saw it through my camera, not through my eyes. Huh. That doesn't make sense, but it does yeah. at the same time. No, it does. Who's here with us? We keep hearing you. Is there somewhere you want us to go? Maybe a certain toy you're attached to? A lot of the toys have like residual energy or there's definitely attachment. When we were on our way here, I kept getting this image of a little boy with a bright blue cap and I kept telling Drew in the car, I don't know what that was, but I do feel like it has something to do with this place. Maybe it's attached to something or maybe he'll come through later and let us know who he is. Instantly when we walked in, I was drawn this way and you guys were too, huh? Yeah. yeah. I did see a Hispanic looking gentleman here too. He was about this tall. He was standing right here earlier as well, but I'm not sure who that was. You said you saw him by the door too, right? Right here? Earlier. I saw him over here. Like I was over by the door and he was standing here, like in front of these beads. Who's back here? Whoever I felt back here, can you make a sound? What? Did you hear that? What was that? I heard like a breath. It was like I heard a s Like a hissing. That's what I heard earlier. It was right here, like in like between you guys right here in the back. It was like right here. Right here. I don't know where that was weird. Hello? It was like a hissing. <laughs> we should just hiss back. You can. Should I go check outside if anyone's up there? I don't even know what that would be. Because if it was someone dragging something, it'd keep going. What is that? In a, in a creepy way, something's coming from like in the walls. Girl? Pearl. I'm Mary! Please, I'm a star! Who's doing that? Human. Human. Oh, it's a human? Okay, that's good at least. He has cameras all around. I'm sure. Do you believe in us? Oh. <gasps> Do you want us to believe in you? Who are you? We should go over there. I think I heard something over there. Can you tell us who you are? I feel Help like us. Help us. help us. We can help you. You keep saying us. Yeah, us. Believe in us. Help us. Yeah. Maybe there's a lot of like spirits trapped to the 
the toys. Maybe. Yeah. <gasps> what? What? Someone took a breath over there. I heard that. Did you I hear thought that? It was you. No, it was not me. Whoa. Did you hear that? I heard it. Guillotine. Guillotine? What? Somebody got and their dude, head. And dude, he has a bunch of weird, like... Oh. Guillotine? He has a Very bunch nice of... Somebody got their head chopped off. That's what a guillotine is. Yeah. Look below. Look below. Is there a basement? No. No. Look below. I'll use my voice. Did you hear that? Yeah. Who's making noises? That hissing thing stopped. Whoa. Husband. <gasps> oh. Dude. Husband. Don't say anything yet. Whoa, that was loud. I'm like. I know. Speechless right now that that came through. Why? And the fact that you were seeing a female, right? There was the poly. I was seeing a man and then I saw the boy, but I didn't see a female. Oh, you were just drawn to that girl, the, the doll. Yeah. Okay. She kind of mentioned a little something. It's up to you guys. Because that's like a big, big, big one. So this altar that's over here, what was that? Is that a growl? I don't like talking. Okay. That's okay. You don't the have to talk. Didn't. Cause there's stuff that we can say like on camera and there's stuff that stuff that we can't say. I'm kind okay. of speechless like. I know. Was it the altar I, I was drawn? Okay. Whoa. Okay. okay. I feel like you guys gotta okay. share. Okay. okay. So my friend Screws, both his parents passed away. Yeah. But the mother passed away first. Okay. And she went through a lot of things. Night alive. What? Dude, I've never heard this go off so much. Night it's going alive. off like back it is to back night to back. Alive. So the mother went through a lot of terrible things and they found out a lot of things about the mom after she passed mm -hmm. and they have an altar for her. Okay. The one that's right here. Okay. And the fact that it said husband is because like the dad. They found out a they lot of a terrible, lot of terrible bad things about him. And it had to do kind of with the mom, was so it, that's why it, like he, they took down her altar much. and stuff like that. The fact that that came out, that's it crazy. correlates to what Screws was telling us. It's a lot of heavy, as you it guys were talking bad. about it. I feel like Kelsey saw the brother. That's what I was thinking. Because the ashes, she immediately came, came over here. They keep on saying ground and, and look, like, down look down. And I'm getting like such a heavy smell over here. I don't know. It's very old smelling. Do you smell it? Yeah, like old people. Whoa. Oh, that was me. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't smell anything. Like old people. It was things. like yeah. It was like a whiff of like this just really strong scent. Are Dad. you the man that I saw? Can you tell us what your what name is? What was that? Did you hear that, Drew? I was like, I saw squeak. that, yes. He reacted to it. It was like, uh, uh. It was like, like a screech. It sounded like a woman screeching. Really? Yeah. I but like, me and I kind of heard it, it but. Very witchy. I thought it was outside, so I didn't say anything, but I wasn't sure. I didn't hear it. There's that was loud. Over there. There's someone right there. I, I heard growling from inside of there. I saw you too. Tom. Tom? Tom. Is that who I just saw standing right there? I keep hearing noises over there too. Someone was standing right around. here. They were like as tall as me. But they had something on their... I don't know if it was a hat or what it was. Dude, it's freezing right here. Remember he was saying about the cold breeze? And it's yeah. hot in here. I just felt a cold walk breeze right, just walking right here. Walk right where I'm standing right now. You'll feel it. I felt that cold breeze like it touched my arm too. As you were mentioning about the, the person you saw, yeah. I felt it like on my arm. So the mom's altar was right here, right? Mm -hmm. 
Ava. Ava? I've never heard that name come through. Did anyone touch that? The head? No, I haven't. No. See how it's swinging? Oh, it is. It's like rotating. Hold breeze, just like hitting my and arm and like no my way. hand. Whoa! Oh. Oh, fuck. What was that? That was loud as hell. <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. Was that you? Tom? Who made that noise? Answer. Can you please answer us? I think they want us to answer back. There's something so strong right here. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh my god. Somebody just whispered in my ear. In my ear. It was this strong energy that's over here. As soon as you were talking. Are you who I was feeling earlier? I whispered something. You really wanted my attention. You have it. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. It sounded like someone walking behind Drew. Can you come over here, please? We're calling you over here if you're able to come forward. I'm gonna put out more equipment over here. Thank you. Can you turn the flashlight back on? Thank Whoa. you. Oh Whoa. my god. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. If you guys want any of the apps that we use, the links are down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using them. Who was that that was turning the flashlight on and off? Was that Polly? If this is Polly, can you say what you are attached to? Definitely like a little girl. It's a doll. Is that your doll in the case up there? Me. With the red hair? How many spirits are here? Fifteen. I heard fifteen. That like the hissing. It did. Is there anything you want to show us? Or show me? I heard evil. Yeah, just the evil. Did you drown? Is that what I'm seeing? Cheek. It wasn't her fault. She's like coming through to me directly and this. When I was asking her, I saw a ribbon, like a red ribbon floating in water with like a piece of her hair attached to it. And she said it wasn't her fault. When I said that, did she drown? She was very adamant about that. What do you need help with? I keep seeing a hand grabbing the back of her neck. It's so like flashy, it's so hard to see what she's trying to show me. Danielle. Danielle? How many children are in this place? I feel like there's like four kids, I don't know why. Cursed. I feel like her body was never retrieved. I feel like it was hidden. Whoa. So what if she's asking for us to look under, or you know what I mean? Chelsea, as soon as you mentioned that, like the light went off and we started hearing noises over here. It's kind of yeah. like sparking something up. Oh, something's coming through. Whoa. 
It looks like an old town. They almost look like shadows. If there's my neck. A... My neck. I said she got grabbed oh, on the back did. of her. Yeah. If you want to show us anything, I don't know if we're able to help you move on. We're apprehensive. Why are you apprehensive? <gasps> oh my god. What? Whoa. <gasps> what? Oh my god. They're. Dude. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, oh my god. There's this man like coming after me. Like literally about to attack me. He's like this. Oh my god. I got full body chills. Oh my god. What if that's the guy? Whoa. It's very nasty here. Whoa. That was like disturbing. Oh, something else Another is happening. What is this? I can't even tell what that is. Kind of looks like a burning house. But the house. eyes. <gasps> Wait, look. House. The burning house. That's connected to those, those dolls. It looks like something's on fire. I just got chills down my it's entire so spine. It's so unclear. And then there's that circle of red and black. Obvious. Obvious if it's the house. This all came from a community in New Mexico that several people had passed in a fire. We rescued the doll from one of the houses and you can see it's like melted. Are you Scrooge's brother? <gasps> oh my oh, god. Oh, dude. Are you the man that Did I you hear that? heard that? Oh. It's not like a cry. It came from back there where his ashes are at. Are you the man that I saw earlier? Oh. <gasps> Whoa. He's coming. The K2 is going off. It's going crazy. Are there multiple spirits here right now? Whoa. Thank you. Oh my Whoa. god. Thank you. That's crazy, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, it feels like we're just surrounded yeah. by the spirits. I'm having like crazy deja vu right now, like I've been here. Ask for... Ask for what? I don't know. Creature. <gasps> what kind of creature? That was full on walking. Yeah. Who's walking back there? I'm a friend. Okay. Something about last year. Last year a friend died. Whoa. I'm a friend. The K2 even stopped spiking. Oh, we're just. Whoa. Whoa! That was loud, heavy. I got like kind of nauseous. Oh yeah. Who just walked in with us? I got like a burning in my throat. What is that I'm feeling in my throat? <laughs> Tell me about throat. Again. <laughs> Who's standing right here? It's me. They said it's me. It's me? They said it out loud. There was a whisper. They said it's me. The man I saw earlier? <laughs> Did you pass away from a sickness? <laughs> Some sort of cancer. Well, is that what I'm feeling? The rumors are true. Was it lung cancer? Is that what I'm? My throat's hurting. In my chest. <laughs> He'll find peace. Guillotine. Again? Again? Guillotine, why? That's so, like old fashioned. Whoa! Whoa. 
Dude, all that moved. We'd appreciate it if you showed us anything. See now. Whoa. What was that? I came from back there. The toys. That sounded like a growl. Or like a. <laughs> Yeah, it sounded like someone clearing their throat. That was really loud. Something's coming on. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck is, is that? I got full body chills. There's like a boy right here. They're going like this. Bowing? N no, but it's like... Oh, what? I've never seen it move like that before. It was just going like this. Yeah, it looked like it was... It was conjured. What? It was conjured. Somebody's sitting down. with us, and it's kind of a little, you know, there's like a little space right here. Yeah. Who sat with us? I heard that. It's not like keys. Whoa, the flashlight just turned Whoa. off. You think we should do a seance? If anyone wants to come forward, you're welcome to. We're putting our energy, energy together. together. And opening, opening up, up the portal. portal. If you want to come through and communicate. Now is the time. I keep feeling like someone's touching me, like on my arm, like grabbing me, it kind of hurts. What is this I'm feeling? I've never seen it this close. Child. Child, Child, whoa. Child, and it, what were you saying right now too? You felt it was like a little kid who sat down. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier about a little boy. Yeah, there's the boy. There's a little. There's two little girls, I think. I think there's like four children. Oh, that went off. We should come back on like a full moon. Oh, look at. Oh. They want us to come back. Okay. Like I didn't give you specifics about yeah, anything. Yeah. And there was a couple of things. One was the two little girls that. Um, that your friend Kelsey, Kelsey yeah. saw. I've had a couple of little girls that have followed me probably for the past 15, 18 years. There's two little girls, I think. And we see them everywhere. At the old house, when I first got married, I used to tell her, don't close the bathroom door and don't close the shower curtain. I don't know, she was cleaning and closed the door and closed the shower curtain. And when I got freaked out, I opened the door and I saw a pair of feet behind oh. the shower curtain. You had mentioned a little boy with a blue hat. When we were on our way here, I kept getting this image of a little boy with a bright blue cap. And I kept telling Drew in the car. In 1981, Fernando Valenzuela craziness was hitting LA. Ninth inning here at Dodger Stadium. And I was little, I was uh, probably nine. My cousin was the same age. We get tickets to, to the baseball game. My cousin was outside playing baseball with his little blue hat on wow. and he got hit by a car oh man um he did not make it if you saw that little blue cap guy here that was my cousin i did see a hispanic looking gentleman here my son's partner father passed away this year and we have their partner's father's ashes here they had asked for she had talked to him being that he had passed and said hey can you prank them right where your red fridge is that that doorway yes by the door too right right here i Earlier. saw him over here that altar is for my son's partner's father there. was he like older or young he looked pretty young he's around a lot premature you know death you know he was a very young man you know there was some strenuous circumstances when he passed away from the hospital and he's been really active here was it lung cancer is that what I'm, my throat's hurting in my chest? Father died of stage four lung cancer. Cause she was attached a lot to the skull right here and she got her name Polly. Oh yeah. With the red hair. Right there. I just yeah. got the name Polly. Polly? Polly? Yeah. The one in the back? Yeah, this one right there with the so red hair. That is a very, very, very special doll. That little girl is, that is the doll they used talking Tina in the Twilight Zone when they wrote that thing about a little girl that would talk and would come to life and would be friends with a little girl that was being abused by the father, that's the doll. And that doll was given to me by a woman named Paul. <gasps> no! No way! She, was, she no. worked on set. I just I got the chills the right now. First two or three episodes, oh first two or three years of the show, she passed away. And when she passed, I was given by her family clothes and a few photos of her on set and stuff because I paid a lot of money for that doll. Like, I wanted it. There's no way that anyone would have known outside of maybe me and four or five other people that yeah, Paula I mean. ever existed because she was working under, back then, I mean, work wasn't great for women. And she was working under someone else that was taking, you know, was getting the credit yeah, and yeah. she was kind of just like the dresser. Yeah.